As humans, we have sophisticated vision, enabling us to appreciate the beauty and wonder of nature. But actually, what we can see is only a small portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. As a result, we can barely see anything without visible light, for example, at night. But what if we could see beyond the visible spectrum? Take near-infrared light, for example. Humans have invented complicated night vision goggles that are sensitive to near-infrared light and allow us to see at night. But if we could see near-infrared light directly, we wouldn't need these cumbersome goggles anymore. This might seem like science fiction, but in a recent study published in Cell, scientists from the University of Science and Technology of China and the University of Massachusetts have made a breakthrough making mice see near-infrared light by injecting special nanoparticles into their eyes. These nanoparticles are up-conversion nanoparticles that can convert near-infrared light into green light. The scientists have modified these nanoparticles so that they can anchor tightly on the retinal photoreceptors of mice. By injecting liquid droplets containing these photoreceptor-binding nanoparticles into the eyes of the mice, the photoreceptors can be activated by near-infrared light, and the signals pass through the optic nerve all the way to the visual cortex. These nanoparticles can stay in the eye for over two months without any obvious side effect. But wait! Mice can't tell us what they can see. How do we know for sure that the injected mice did indeed see near-infrared light? Also, how well could they see? To prove that the injected mice could see near-infrared light, the scientists did multiple experiments. In one simple experiment called pupillary light reflex, they shined near-infrared light into the eyes of injected and non-injected mice. The pupils of the injected mice constricted, while the non-injected mice showed no response at all. Next, the scientists made a box with two connected compartments. One compartment was completely dark. The other was illuminated with near-infrared light. As mice are nocturnal animals and like to stay in the dark, the scientists observed that the injected mice spent more time in the dark compartment, while the non-injected mice spent similar amounts of time in both compartments. These two experiments proved the injected mice indeed perceived near-infrared light. But could they see near-infrared light patterns? The scientists used a Y-shaped water maze to examine the pattern vision of the mice. The end of the maze was divided into two channels, and a hidden platform was at the end of one channel for the mice to get out of the water, which they prefer over staying in the water. The scientists then started training the mice with different near-infrared light patterns that only the injected mice could see. They randomly placed vertical and horizontal light gratings at the ends of the two channels, and the hidden platform was always in the channel of the vertical light gratings. After a few trials, the injected mice soon understood the connection between the vertical light gratings and the hidden platform. From then on, they quickly swam to the vertical light gratings every time they were put in the water. For the non-injected mice, as they couldn't see the near-infrared light patterns, they just randomly swam in the maze, hoping their luck would get them somewhere. When the scientists changed the near-infrared light patterns from vertical and horizontal gratings to other patterns, such as a triangle and circle, they discovered the same results. This experiment proves that the injected mice could indeed perceive patterns in near-infrared light. In addition, the scientists showed that the nanoparticles would not affect the normal vision of the injected mice. In other words, the injected mice could see near-infrared light and visible light at the same time. This technique can potentially be applied to humans, not only for generating supervision, but also for repairing visible spectrum deficit such as colorblindness. Combining material and biomedical sciences the only limit of the application is our own imagination.